Alright, what up guys? This illegal Civ movie is bullshit. I wanted to go into this with a neutral mindset. My initial plan was I was gonna buy tickets to this or I was gonna I was gonna rent the movie, buy it, however you fucking watch it. So that I could review it for you guys and it would be a cool video, right? I mean it's relevant, this shit's popping. It'd be a fun video to make. You know, I have my opinions on illegal civ, but I didn't want to carry those over to this to this video. So I check out how do you actually watch this this thing, right? Illegal Civ limited release North Hollywood. Come join us for the limited release of North Hollywood. Blah 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 blah. Who gives a flying fuck? This is a real time live stream event that is only available at the scheduled date and time. Fast forward and rewind have been disabled for this event. The pause button will only work for 45 seconds. Your ticket does not grant you access to any other showing only at the specific date and time that you fucking pay for. How much does this cost you might ask? $18.99 to watch a live stream of a movie. If you don't think that's fucking absurd, let me explain some shit to you guys. Let's say, for example, you want to go watch a movie in a movie theater where it costs more money because the experience is better. You get an epic sound system, a massive screen to watch it on. You get the whole movie experience, right? And you know they got to pay for the facility. It makes sense that you'd have to pay a little more to watch it in a movie theater, right? Well, how much does it cost right now for an adult? It's thirteen dollars and sixty nine cents to see it a see a movie at an AMC movie theater. Okay. Well, how much does it normally cost to rent a movie at home? Let's see this. This is a new movie that came out on YouTube. It's five dollars to rent this thing at home. Okay. It's pretty reasonable, right? They're not paying for any of the facility. They're just beaming it straight to your shitty laptop or your smart TV or whatever. You pay five bucks and what do you get with that? You have a month until you have to even click the play button for renting renting this movie. And even after you click the play button, then you get another two days to watch it as many fucking times as you want. You can have this shit on repeat in your house while you're fucking doing the dishes, while you're mopping the floor. You can do whatever the hell you want. You've rented it for two days, and they don't even rush you on when those two days begin. Because the people who make this price of $5 realize that giving you all of this freedom is fair, and it costs less money, because the experience is significantly worse than, having watching, than watching it in a theater. With the illegal sieve, with this movie, you get the worst part of both movie watching experiences watching at home you don't get a huge screen you have a shitty dinky setup but you can get up to go to the bathroom and pause it you can get a snack from your kitchen you're in the comfort of your own home it's not going to be as immersive as watching it in a movie theater but there are drawbacks to a movie theater as well if you have to pee and get up you miss the part of the movie when you're not in the fucking theater. But, huge screen, immersive experience, incredible sound system, and you get to watch it with other people. Kind of like $13 is not an absurd amount of money to ask for. With this $19 proposition, you don't get any of the benefits of either of those you get the worst of the two movie watching options combined into one. You have all the restrictions of watching it in a movie theater, but you're at home. If you started watching the movie and decided, hey, I kind of want a, a box of Cheez-Its, and you got up to go leave the room, you'd be fucked. You would miss that part of the movie that you paid $19 for. It's basically quadruple the normal at-home rental price you don't, you don't get to fucking, you don't have a month to press the play button. You have to be there at the exact time. You don't get any of the leisure that's afforded to you with this policy 
because this is what is reasonable. This 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 fucking illegal civ thing, I refuse to give them any money whatsoever. It's overpriced and it's a worse deal for you. I'm down to fucking support skateboarding stuff, but this is not the way to do it. This is so fucking stupid. And they act like the whole like guise of this is that it's like it's like, oh, it's a cool live experience. No, it's not. Just fucking be honest with people. This system sucks. 19 fucking dollars? This better be the best movie I've ever seen because the best movie you've ever seen didn't cost this much to see it in theaters unless you fucking saw it in IMAX 3D with fucking smelling features enabled. $19 to watch a movie on your laptop. Think about that. And you can't fucking pause it. And you have to be there at 8 p.m. sharp or whatever this stupid thing is airing. It's such a fucking scam. Anybody that thinks that this is a good idea is not going to make a good movie. This actually bothered me. The people that are going to be paying for this shit are little kids. And they're going to be asking their mom like, Mommy, Mommy, please. The new Illegal Sith movie just came out. It's only $19 to watch. And it's it's a fucking, it's, it's a ripoff. It's not a scam. That's not really a fair characterization, I guess. But it's a fucking ripoff. It's overpriced as fuck for the experience that you get. I thought at first that these were real life movie tickets. $19 for a live stream. You know, I almost want to buy it just to know. Because if it's like in some shitty live stream definition and the audio is all fucked. Like, oh my god, it would make it even better. <laughs> and it's a fucking scam. Just like their graphics are, man. It's the same shit. If you're paying $60 for this fucking graphic, you're getting scammed. Just like if you fucking pay $19 for a live stream at home, you're getting scammed too. Sorry, but this is some fucking next level horse shit.